Coming up to a shelter, Deer Cross, Deer Park, I can't quite remember. Shelter, it's a cute little shelter. Looks old and really small. Yeah, but it's got a nice picnic table, fire pit where someone has left trash. That's just great. And pretty good view. So it's very nice. You could see it from the trail. It's kind of awesome. I'm going to have lunch here. Get about my business. I think there's a copperhead, a baby copperhead. I don't know if you can see it. I don't think you can. If it would move, you could see it. But. There he is, right there, at the privy, love. Coming up out of the shelter where I had lunch, I'm actually on the trail coming up out of the, I guess it was in a, a little valley or gap or something, I don't know. Um, and this is really cool some rocks and whatnot and again you can see you can see you know the mountains around you it was a little uh a little freakish down there at that lunch spot but i'm out on the trail and everything's good there was a there were like some kind of big yellow jacket looking things around the privy there was that baby copperhead at the privy I went down and had lunch and I don't know it was just an odd feeling and then when I came out and started up trail there were these graves uh i only saw two in a little circle enclosed space i did go ahead and take pictures i was trying to decide if it was um disrespectful to take the pictures or if it was a good way to keep their memory alive i don't know i decided the latter took the pictures Came out, went up, I don't know, maybe a hundred feet. Weirdest looking tree that had just fell right in the middle of the trail, like trunk first or whatever. It was just like um, impaling the trail. So odd. And, uh, you know, of course I stepped over it, but it was just really a bizarre vibe down there. So hope I wasn't invading anybody's, you know, sensitivities there. Was not my intention. Beautiful spot though. And here we are a little farther up trail. More later. I don't think you can hear this. But it's really strange to me how I've come around the side of the mountain and I can understand how there could be wind on one side of the mountain and not on the other. I get that. But like I can hear it on the other side of the mountain. It's so cool. It's kind of like, I don't know, kind of like a wind tunnel. But it's not with me. I can just hear it from the other side. It's really cool. Yeah, I don't see how I'm ever going to make it to Maine because I want to stop and take pictures and really enjoy the view when I come around to these beautiful, gorgeous views. I mean, they take my breath away. Coming up on trail maintainer work. Look at this. Can you even imagine what it's like to have to come up from a gap and do this kind of work to clear the trail? Looks pretty fresh too. 
Thank you, trial maintainers of Carolina. You're awesome. Thank you for maintaining these trails for us. Gonna do a little ridge walking. And it's just really cool, these rocks. I just think these are so cool. And now you can see, again, mountains on the right. And mountains coming up on the left. I mean, I just can't believe this. I am living the dream. And there is the wind again. But this time I'm feeling it. It feels nice. feel the wind when you're on ridges and balds, mountain tops. Just came around a curve and looked over to my left and there's the river that goes through hot springs. Pretty cool. Right there. So for those of you who aren't familiar, when you've got a water source like at this little, you know, look at this beautiful kind of mountain source, you can arrange the leaves in such a way that they give you a stream of water so it's easier to get into your containers. Isn't that cool? So, I'm getting close to town. I'm probably, I don't know, a third of a mile. And we have this kind of marker. So, this means, this is our Appalachian Trail, uh, you know, symbols to show us that we're on the right track. And so, the one here means we're going to, we're coming in on the left side and the trail might do a little jag to the right. So we watch out for that. So let's see what it looks like. Sometimes it's pretty obvious and then other times it's not so obvious. So heck, we're even more than a quarter of them. I mean, I'm like, I can see the parking lot for Laughing Heart Hostel. So I'm even closer than I thought. Um, let's just check it out, walk a minute, see how the trail does, see if we see why it did that. Because sometimes it'll look like the trail's going off one way because there might be two areas that you could go in different directions or in, you know, it looks like it's going one way when it's really going the other way. So, and it's hard to tell. You see somebody's tenting down there. So then I had to pay Uncle Johnny, I mean, not Uncle Johnny, I'm sorry, uh, Laughing Heart Hostel, because this isn't Laughing Heart Hostel's um, property. They're kind of off the trail. They've been there for a few days, because I've seen it before. Anyway, um, so yeah, I think here it is. Comes right in behind Laughing Heart. Man, it is just like right on the trail. Okay, and now here's where you can see that instead of going straight, which would take us down to Uncle Johnny's, I mean, not Uncle Johnny's, uh, Laughing Heart, we're taking a little jag to the right here. So that's what that sign was showing. And then we'll go down. And I mean, it's pretty obvious now, so I'm sure, you know, there's no more signs saying what to do because it's, it's really obvious. So there's your Appalachian Trail signage lesson for day five. <laughs>